So my name is April Raglan. I am a junior human development and family studies major, minor in criminal justice. Um, this is my third year in ASCSU and I am currently the director of student services. My name is Dave Ambrose. I am uh, currently in the College of Business and have been a senator for the College of Business for the past two years. Dave and I decided to run together last semester and when we decided to run we thought the best way to come up with our platforms instead of running on our own agenda we thought ask students what they want. So we went around campus and um, collected student input from flyers that we placed in different buildings around campus and from that we compiled si our six platforms so literally every single one of our platforms came directly from student input. Yeah so it was, it was really important to us when uh, when finding our platforms that we worked with administrators, we would work with faculty, and most importantly students to make sure that all these platforms were small tangible things that students could take advantage of. They would be able to be accomplished starting day one, fall 2010, and they were things that we wouldn't have to raise student fees to, to accomplish. That's things like extended library hours on camp, on, uh, in the library, uh, free printing area that's available for all students that they can just log in under their e-name and e-password and be able to have a f free 50-page printing quota all year round. It's supporting student organizations on campus, so ad allocating more money to student funding board for programming for student organizations and also advocating for graduate student benefits. So that's just keeping our grad school competitive with peer institutions. We kept hearing Transport and Ram Ride. Those are two things ASCSU has a big hand in and um, hopefully we could um, improve those a little bit. So with Transport we want to increase frequency on really heavy student routes. And then for Ram Ride we want to increase the number of cars Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. And then finally, we want to create a virtual suggestion box. And this is just a way for students to get online and um, it'd be a place where they could say, you know, this is my issue with faculty, or um, this is my concern with administration, or I think ASCSU should be doing this better. And it'd be a direct line of communication between um, ASCSU leaders and students. So um, transparency and um, direct line of communication that's something we kept hearing, a complaint about ASCSU. We, we, we really struggle with ASCSU currently because it's just an organization that we don't really feel like is going out to students or trying to collect any sort, sort of student input in it and the administrations just sort of push their own agenda from year to year. So going back to our, our student-oriented campaign platforms, that's, that's where we got them and that's, that's, you know, we wanted everything to be stuff that students specifically asked for. We also found ASCSU as an organization that's real wasteful with the, with the spending. I definitely think that I'm a treasurer for a couple organizations and you know, I think a budget should be available and you should, you should really be able to show all its members you know, specifically where every dime is going. Otherwise, you shouldn't be able to, to spend that money where, you, where you're spending it. Those are pretty much our platforms. Um, I don't know if you guys want to ask us any specific questions about them or... Yeah, I'm sure you can ask some hard questions. <laughs> I'm pretty confident we got the right answers for you, so. So, like I said, this is my third year in ASCSU, so um, I know the ropes over there. Um, I feel really comfortable taking over as the chair of Senate and um, Student Fee Review Board. Um, I was an RLT, that means RAM Leadership Team, my freshman year, and there we just developed um, effective leadership skills and um, kind of how to manage people, how to be led, how to lead. Um, so I think that's what I'm bringing to the table. Um, I mean, I've been involved on most of the funding boards, so you know, things like student peer review board, student funding board, uh, committee of the committee of the libraries, uh, the travel grant committee, and a few others. But you know, that's that's kind of what ASCSU does, and I, I love being on student funding board. Just one, for example, just because of going to student organizations, helping them on a day-to-day -day basis, helping them put on programming that. That's really the true educational experience that we've, that I found and I've, I've loved at CSU. Dave and I bring a unique um, set of skills to this because he's originally from Senate and I'm originally from Cabinet, so 
Um, I know a lot of the other tickets, they don't have that combination, so we have the institutional knowledge of both Cabinet and Senate and kind of the workings of that. I mean, everyone's cutting down, so when people ask that, you know, they always say, well, I think it was $600,000 or something that the library was cut, but I mean, everyone's cutting that money, but we've been working real close with Dr. Pat Burns, the dean of the libraries, and he's confident that, you know, if we have a huge undergraduate push, that we can allocate money, that he can allocate money from his budget to extend the library hours, because he's really seen a strong trend in the library being turned into a place where you go to check out books, to a place where students go to study now. So this year, I'm sure all of you are aware, um, Ramride, ASCSU decided to stop using Enterprise and start using Motorpool, which is through CSU. This saved ASCSU between thirty and forty thousand dollars. So um, the next year's incoming administration can decide what to do with that money. Um, we could have allocated it back out to students, but we found when asking students, they'd rather just have a decrease in fees, or I mean, not a decrease in fees, because it'd only be two to three dollars, and rather they'd have an increase in service. So, um, Ramride specifically, we want to take that um, take that chunk of um, money and put it back into doubling the fleet, almost doubling the fleet, and then um, increasing that money to student organizations. So. We, we have gone around to a lot of student organizations and we hope to continue to go back to those student organizations and the first thing we want to do is go back and you know ask for people who haven't been involved in ASCSU to, to really come into the organiza organization and take over. There's really no turnover every year and that's, that's from my view really caused a lot of complacency and we really need to get some, some fresh people in there who have a different perspective and we're hope, I, I'm hoping that that will, that will definitely help start to change ASCSU. I definitely think it's something that's that important. I think to say that students shouldn't get a, a vote on the Board of Governors is, would, be, would be foolish. Any opportunity we have to represent ourselves would, would definitely be something we would fight for. You know, I think state like, it got further this year and made it all the way to the Senate Committee. So. You know, that's every year if we, you know, keep introducing it, that's definitely something that, that we can do and eventually accomplish. We definitely do have some long-term goals, but on a, on a smaller scale, we want to show students, like I just said, that we can, we can accomplish our, our campaign platforms. I think a lot of students don't get involved and don't really care in the issues because every year they're promised stuff and it can be a long-term goal and they could graduate and they, they would never have seen that impact on them. So that's why we, we really took a different, different route this year. We think it's going to be really important next year if elected to build those really good relationships with administrators so that, you know, it, when, when Dave and I leave it's not you know, like the next president and vice president just have to start completely over. So we want to build really strong relationships with administration. What frustrates me is, you know, the CSU is definitely the driving force in the Fort Collins community. So, you know, the, there definitely should be some issues, I feel like, like three and related, that students are just really getting screwed. and. And administration, I feel like should, that that should definitely be one issue that administration should take a stand on and say, you know, we believe that three and related is hurting students, it's hurting the housing market, and it's it's something we believe is wrong. There's really been no representation in ASCSU from the grad students, so that's something that we need to continue to go to grad students, ask them to come to ASCSU, and and represent themselves and I think that would that would definitely be the start to to having them feel like um, changing the feeling that you know we don't care about graduate student issues I mean there's there's over 4,000 of them on the campus well I mean every year higher education takes um, takes it because you know we it's hard to pull from things like K through 12 and so Obviously, it goes to higher education. We need to educate students about why this is happening. 
Um, I don't have all the answers of why higher what you know, like how to fix this. Clearly, if I had an answer, then it wouldn't be such a problem. I think a lot of students are sometimes like, you know, well, why can't we just cut it from uh, transportation or K through 12? So educating students about why that's happening, and then a really, really strong push, student push um, for lobbying at the state capitol.